Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome to my channel. As you can see, I've got a big box, so you can't really tell, but I mean, this is a big 50 pound box from ThreadUp. And today I am going to be opening it with you. Sometimes I like to go through these big bulk boxes first so I can kind of sort what I'm gonna sell, maybe have time to do a little bit of research about brands, but this literally just came in the mail and I'd love to just get this video filmed. And I know you guys do like seeing like the raw reactions when I do open these big bulk boxes with you. I had a really hard time getting that out. And because I feel like I'm familiar with most denim brands at this point, if I do come across a brand that I don't know too much about, I'll definitely pop up some information on the screen and I'll also pop up, you know, if I missed a big flaw or something like that. Because that's what this box is. It is technically the DIY denim box and that's why it is priced really, really well. So 50 pounds, only $50, I think that's a great deal. This is definitely one of the best budget-friendly boxes and I have always, always made a very nice profit every time I have got this box. Now because it's DIY, they're saying there might be more flaws on these items than maybe some other boxes, but in my experience, by no means is every item flawed in these boxes. Actually the last one I got, it was not a full 50 pound, I think it was maybe 20 or 25 pounds or something like that. And it was like all men's denim. And since ThreadUp does not sell men's clothing, it just automatically gets tossed either in a men's box or a denim box. So that was a fantastic one. That's not what I'm expecting, but I'd love to get a few really nice men's pairs of jeans in here. But talking about cost of goods, as I said, $50 for this box. I do get free shipping because I buy a lot of stuff from ThreadUp with tax. My total was $53.75 and future me will pop up the cost of goods per item but this one ends up being really really low so this is one of my favorite boxes because that cost of goods is so low and this box is from Georgia I'm up here in Ohio so it did take I'd say about a week for this to get to me a little bit longer than some other boxes it was sitting I think in Indiana for a few days but let's go ahead and get into it all right so I am gonna go ahead and put it on the floor but I'm grateful that they put actually I mean, a good amount of these packing bubbles in here. I guess they could have filled the box up a little bit more, but I love to reuse these, so I'm grateful for that. And of course, the denim box is not the most exciting in terms of variety since it's all denim, but you can see that there is a little bit of variety already. There's some stripes, there's some different colored denim, so that's pretty good. Okay, so first up are these striped pair of pants. Yeah, I'm not sure what these are already. I'll have to do a little bit of research, but they are really small. That's something that I do expect from these boxes. I get a lot of pretty small sizes because also things that have been sitting on ThreadUp's site for a long time end up in these rescue boxes. But these are kind of fun. They're stretchy. They have like some intentional bleaching and then there's like a rip at the knee and then there is a raw hem. Oh, I totally missed the tag. It's actually Zara. So there it is, Zara Truffala. And these are a size four, so not terribly small. They are stretchy, like I said. So off to a pretty good start. Next, we've got American Eagle. I love selling American Eagle. This is the older tag, but I found with denim, I mean, obviously like the newer stuff will sell a little bit better, but people will definitely still buy older tag denim. This is just a pair of jeggings. It looks like these are a size two, so pretty tiny, and there is some pulling. That's definitely the most common flaw, I feel like, in these, and people will still buy them. I would definitely knock a bit off the price because of that, but as long as the pulling is not super, super bad, I will still list them. So here we have some denim shorts, which I'm hoping I get a good amount of shorts in here because we are going into the warm weather. These are Topshop, and actually this is a skirt. This is size four. So these kinds of skirts don't sell super well for me. If you want a skirt like this, just go into your local Play-Dohs and they will have like two aisles full of them because people just aren't really buying them that much anymore. But I do really like the color of this and it is in really good shape. And Topshop, it does sell okay for me, just not for a whole heck of a lot. Some more shorts here, and I'm seeing that there are a bit more in here. So I'm loving that because sometimes I get like no shorts. And once again, I am completely wrong. <laughs> this is why I like to go through the boxes first because this is not actually a pair of shorts. This is a really cute little like mini 
denim overall dress. Very adorable. I can tell from the buttons that this actually is from Topshop as well, just like the last ones, but it definitely has like a very vintage 90s look to it. It even like feels like vintage denim. So I think this is super cute. It is really tiny though. It's a size six, so not terrible, but I think that this will actually sell pretty well for me. Yeah, again, for Topshop, I feel like the quality really is there. Okay, now we actually have some denim shorts, you guys. These are Shein, which has a following for their bottoms. Size medium, which I'm guessing is probably like a four or six or something like that. But I've sold Shein decently well in the past. Not for a lot, of course, probably like 12 to maybe 15 bucks I would get for these since they are a really good style, good length, good condition. H&M size four. These really do look to be in pretty good condition. Of course, like I said, I'll have to go over everything more closely <laughs> before I list it. But yeah, I feel like a lot of the denim I get in these boxes, it might be from a brand that's like that, just kind of more of a mall brand but they're in pretty good shape. These are some Levi's 315 shaping boot cut jeans. Maybe, yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of pulling going on, but nothing too, too crazy. I like the wash of these. I like to wear a nice dark wash jean myself. Patch is still in pretty good shape. Size 28, good size. Some more shorts. These are from Express, which is Probably my least favorite mall brand to sell. I just find that the stuff sits for quite a while. These are a size six. Yeah, these I probably will not sell because there is some pooling going on. I'll try to take these to Play-Dohs, but I do not expect them to take these either because my Play-Dohs is quite picky. But because it's not a great brand, even if these were in perfect shape, I wouldn't be able to sell them for very much. And there is that pooling going on. I'll just try to take them to play those, and if not, donate them. Some more Levi's. These are 505 Street, size 8. These look to be pretty good. Maybe some very, very slight pulling, but nothing bad at all. Again, good wash. Really like these. Just a great classic pair of jeans. I love to get Levi's in these boxes. And I feel like I haven't picked up denim that much at all lately. So my inventory is getting a little low. That's why I did want to get this box. This is Banana Republic, high rise skinny, size 26. Look like they're in good shape. Banana Republic denim actually does sell pretty well for me. I would say around 30 to $35 because these are in good shape. I'll probably list them at 35. And yeah, it just seems like with some of these more mature brands, I either make a full price sale or I get a very reasonable offer. So I do like selling Banana Republic. Another pair of Banana Republic. These are mid-rise skinny, size 26. So probably <laughs> the same person sent these in. And depending on what the vibe is with this box, if I'm getting a lot of stuff that same brand, same size, I might put some bundles together. I don't love selling bundles. I, I mean, I love selling bundles, but I don't like listing several items in one listing because I'm always afraid if one person maybe only wants part of the bundle, they just won't even make an offer. So I do it very rarely. I did just sell two Fabletics bras in the same listing and that went pretty well because they were the same cut, but two neutral colors. So I felt like that worked. So yeah, maybe I'll do that with some of these jeans. More Banana Republic, also size 26, skinny ankle. And of course, let me know as you're watching this, if you're interested in any of these items, if you're interested in like all the Banana Republic size 26 jeans or something like that, just let me know and I can create a bundle listing for you. This is a really nice spring pair of jeans, I feel like, really good light wash, some very minimal distressing like these a lot, feel like they're in great shape. More Banana Republic, size 26, mid-rise skinny. Okay, this legit is somebody's <laughs> just whole collection. They knew what they liked, they knew it worked for them. Maybe they're not this size anymore, whatever, because these are really in good shape. I do hope we get some bigger sizes though, 26 is pretty tiny. Levi's 5'11", size 33, that's what we're looking for. These might be men's actually. Yeah, I feel like these are men's. They're 33, 34. I sell men's Levi's, I feel like for right around that 28 to $35 mark. So love that, especially because I really suck at sourcing men's items. Oh, made well, yes, yes, yes. These are 32, 34. 
amazing. So we got a pair of men's denim. They could very easily have just put the men's jeans in the men's rescue boxes, which are much more expensive than these ones. Cause you can get a hundred pounds of mixed men's items, but it's $400. But most of the stuff is good in those boxes. So yeah, I am really surprised they didn't just put this in a men's box. But these are in great shape, good color. These are too small for my husband or I'd probably just give them to him. But I'm very happy about this. And here we have another pair of Madewell jeans. These are the perfect vintage jean, size 24 tall. So these are women's and they look really good. They probably just didn't sell because they are very small and tall. So this is for like the model in your life, <laughs> that very slim tall person in your life these are in fantastic shape so these probably will sit for a while but having two pairs of good madewell jeans i love these are some gap denim jeans these are size four petite so i might give these to my mom because she has a hard time finding a good pair of jeans and i like these a lot they're in great shape they've got a raw hem just a wonderful basic pair of jeans again a good spring pair of jeans. So I'll definitely ask her if she wants those. If I can get a pair of jeans, if my mom, my sister can get a pair of jeans and I can sell a solid amount of them, I'm very happy with these. All right, next is the Reimagined by J. Crew line, which is slightly more expensive than their just standard, I think, because it's more sustainable. And these look to be in great shape. These are the toothpick size 26 petite. And they look like they've really never been worn at all because it's really easy for these types of labels to get worn off very, very quickly. So these were probably like literally not worn or worn like a couple times. We're about halfway done. They didn't stuff it all the way up, <laughs> but we're having a good time. Some Levi's 512s. These are 32, 34. So another pair of men's jeans, really pretty dark wash in great shape. These are Levi's 524s, two super low. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, they do look low. These are super like early 2000s <laughs> Y2K, so I could tag that on there. We'll see how these do. Here's what we don't want to see. These are Gloria Vanderbilt. They are just like charcoal jeans, slimming effect, size 12. So good size, but I really don't like to sell Gloria Vanderbilt unless it's like plus size and a really popular style or something like that. But these do have pulling on them, so these will definitely not be getting sold. Those will just be donated. Who remembers all the denim that I opened and 99% of it was Gloria Vanderbilt with flaws. <laughs> we don't like to talk about that video. These are Gap 1969 legging jean size 27. Just a little bit of wear, but not too bad on the label, but the actual jeans themselves look pretty good. Good dark wash. The light is making it look like there's like a lot of fading, but there's really not. So <laughs> I don't know why that's happening. These are again, Gap 1969, size 27 long, the perfect boot cut jean. Great shape, nothing really to say about these. These feel very comfortable worn in. Paris blues, these are size nine, not sure what era this would have been from, maybe early 2000s, maybe 90s. I'll have to look a little bit more into these to see if it would even be worth it to list. But these are freaking broken in. They are very, very comfy. All right, some more Zara, love that. These are the Truffaluck line as well, like those early ones. These are a size two. And Wowzers, I did not realize they had all this stuff going on, so. I don't know. They'll either sell really quickly or set forever. So this says Dante forever with like some lips it looks like. And then it says Wild Heart with like sunglasses, I guess. And then a lot of distressing. But they are in really good shape. I just don't know how many people would really want to wear these. And these are a pretty small size. These are Loft. They are a size 4. So my mom and my sister, I think, are both a four. So they <laughs> have some options if they want them. And it looks like they are pretty high-waisted, so that's nice. Next, we've got some more Gloria Vanderbilt. These are size 10. Like, these I might actually list because they are in really good shape and they're high-waisted. So these are very much like the mom style. These are probably from the 90s, I would guess, or 
early 2000s. This label is really worn, so I'm not even sure what it is. I think it's simply Vera Wang, so nothing too special going on here. These are a size six. They do have a little bit of pooling, so definitely just gonna donate these since they are older, you know, pretty worn, just not worth it. Top Shop. I like that they have the name. So they say that these are the Jamie Cut, which I'm pretty sure I've actually sold before. These are a size eight. These are nice, just a really good, classic, high-waisted, distressed pair of jeans in really good shape. A little bit stiff, but they'll do well. Some more Top Shop in the Jamie Cut. These are a size 26, 26 waist. It's a little bit smaller. Again, a little bit of distressing going on. Nice black pair of jeans. I do like to sell black jeans. And we've got some more coming up. These are BP, that's nice. They are a size 27 or four. And these will do well because they are more of a trendy style, high-waisted, fitted at the waist, but then pretty baggy all the way throughout. And I'm surprised to find BP in here, honestly, because I feel like that is a pretty popular brand. More Topshop Moto Jamie pants. These are a size 28 waist, high-waisted. There is a little bit of pulling going on. So I'll take more of a look off camera, of course. And some of these that have the pulling, I'll have to kind of rethink. Do I really want to list them? Will it be worth it for me to list them? These are H&M. Not sure about the size. I mean, I'd probably guess about a four. Good, like, straight leg pair of jeans. I've sold their Ann Denim, H&M's brand of denim, I'd say several times in the past from these boxes, and sometimes they sell really, really quickly. Forever 21, so we'll probably be passing on listing these. These are a size 28. They do feel nice though. They almost feel like a very lightweight trouser, which might just be because they are lower quality, but they do feel like they would be pretty comfortable. Starting to get near the end. More Forever 21. These are size 28 as well. See, these ones I will list because they feel a bit more substantial. They do have the button fly, really nice light wash for spring and summer. There is some distressing going on and they are in great shape. So Forever 21 I feel like is just weird because some of their items feel so much higher quality than other ones, I don't know why. Hoping for a few more pairs of men's. Unique Low, I do like to sell Unique Low. It's kind of a mall brand, I guess. I don't know what malls it's sold in, but it's like on that level, but it sells pretty well. This is 26 by 32, so I guess these are Guys, they look to be like they are in good shape. Oh, some more Madewell, yes, yes, yes. And these are from spring 2021, which I guess is not super, super recent, but it's pretty recent. Like my Play-Dohs would take these if I were gonna sell them there. And these I am actually gonna keep because they are the curvy perfect vintage jean in my size. And like I said, if I can get a solid pair of denim out of these boxes, I'm happy about it because I would have to pay you know, 50 plus dollars on Poshmark or more than that on Madewell site to get these jeans. And I really do like their curvy line. And I actually do not have any pairs of jeans that are light wash right now. So that's good, A plus for me. And if I do decide to sell them, I could probably list them. I'd probably list them for like 60 and get between 45 and 50 for them, I think. I can't believe I've gotten three pairs of Madewell. Here are some Topshop jeans. These are a size 30. Man, I might have to try on like all the ones that are my size and see if I wanna keep any. Cause I did just go through my jeans, if you saw my decluttering video, and I don't really have that many right now. But yeah, these are in great shape as well. Oh, love this. These are Levi's and this actually is they're premium denim. And these are the wedgie straight jeans, size 28. So very good style. Now I'm like, there has to be something wrong with these. But yeah, they look good. They are button fly jeans, distressing. So I'm not sure why these ended up in here. Cause the last time I heard, <laughs> the wedgie jeans are still quite popular. So I would imagine that these would have sold on their site. So I'm surprised to see them. Okay, I feel like this is the box that never ends. I thought I was on the bottom, but we got another layer. Got some more Madewell. These are size 32, fantastic. And yeah, these are in fantastic shape. No flaws, Madewell shorts, button fly, good inseam. It's a really nice classic pair of shorts that think most people would want, so love that. Here we have some more Madewell. I don't know what I did to deserve this box, but I'm very, very grateful. These are the nine inch high rise skinny jeans, size 26. 
It's a little bit of a smaller size. I'll definitely see if my sister does want these. Good dark wash. Doesn't look like there's any pulling or anything. Really in great shape. Some Gap Denim. These are a size 6 or 28. They are girlfriend cuts. Another nice pair of spring denim. Light wash, distressed, probably slightly cropped. I do like girlfriend cut jeans myself, and they do seem to do pretty well. Ann Taylor Loft. A little bit faded on the tag, but the jeans themselves look pretty good. These are a size 6, modern cuffed crop. I feel like I do sell a lot of jeans like this that are cropped with the distressing, that are light washed. They randomly sell very well for me. So even though these were probably worn a decent bit, they'll probably still sell for like 25 bucks. Okay, now we are actually on the bottom layer. Got some shorts. These are Levi's 501. So they are black denim, button fly, raw hem. Little bit of distressing going on, but nothing too, too crazy. Looks like these are 28 waist, so that's like a six. Really nice pair there. Madewell. What is this like, number five? Number six pair of Madewell jeans? These are size 26, eight inch skinny. I just would have thought that all of these would have like a lot of pulling or something, but really they look good. I'm gonna be really disappointed if I look at these later and I totally missed a bunch of flaws, but I don't think so. Gap, size 28 or 6 tall, universal jegging mid-rise. These do have a little bit of pulling. So because this box has gone so well for me, honestly, I will be a little bit pickier once I go back through. And because these are just Gap, which normally would sell pretty well, like 28 bucks, because they have that pulling and because this is not like a super popular color. I have a hard time selling gray denim, I feel like. I might just go ahead and donate these ones. Some more of these Levi's two super low jeans. These are size 27. These ones I'll list. It's weird because like that dark charcoal gray does well, but then the light one doesn't. But yeah, on camera, it looks like there's a lot of fading at the knee, so it might be a little bit too much, but that might also be a little bit intentional. So I don't know, I'll have to think about these ones. Here we've got a skirt from Ann Taylor Loft. This is a size 29 or eight. So yeah, again, I don't love to sell these kind of skirts because I just don't think they're as popular as they were like four or five years ago. But I'll probably still list this since it's not a super small size. And there is a little bit of stretch. I think people are very afraid to buy these kinds of skirts online if you don't know how much stretch is in them because they can definitely not fit very easily. And then the last pair, of course, is a bust. <laughs> These are Levi's Curvy Cut. They're size 9, but they are a bit worn. I don't know, maybe I will still list these. Nah, because there's some pulling, but that's okay. It's okay that we go out on a bust because the bulk of this box was really dang good. So all right, you guys, I've got a huge mountain of denim next to me. So I'm interested to see how much I actually got, but I am very, very happy with this box. I do always go into opening specifically this DIY denim box with very low expectations because sometimes you can get items with like a lot of flaws, flaws that you can't come back from. But like I said, I've always made a very nice profit because they're is quite a lot of bread and butter and this time I think more than pretty much any other one except for when I got all that men's denim which was just crazy but getting all that made well along with some very solid bread and butter pieces I will definitely profit very nicely off of this my mom and sister will probably get a couple pairs and hopefully I will get a really nice pair of made well jeans myself so even though of course I cannot promise you that you will get any certain items with any of these rescue boxes I can say pretty confidently that this is a good one to get, especially if you are just starting out reselling. It's not a huge investment and you can definitely make a solid profit. But if you like this video, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help my channel out a lot. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.